It seems more than one year that many ROMs came in the market for Poco F1 which are based on Android 10. Many ROMs came and was established a good place in people's heart. But amongst them there was one ROM community which apparently disappeared and never came back again. So today we are going to talk about such community. After so long this community is back again and this is one of the most astonishing ROM which is called as the Resurrection Remix. So without any further ado let's get into this. So let's talk about the system and performance in this ROM. So talking about the system and performance, as moving towards the settings, you can see that we are running on the latest version of the Resurrection Remix having the latest Android 10 version. Moving further, typing on the Resurrection Remix version, you will get some time of type of classic Lineage OS logo which is having Android P as a background. Moving further as you can see that the ROM has a latest security patch of 5th of August 2020 and when the security patch of 1st of May. So that's all about the system. Now let's talk about the performance. Then the performance of this ROM is pretty good and stable as you know that Resurrection Remix was well known for its performance and stability and again and after doing such a great comeback they didn't lose any one of them. Opening and closing of applications work pretty smooth and stable and zero lags and stutters was found. In short, every and each of the performance is pretty smooth and stable. Switching among different applications work perfectly fine. Moving further in the quick settings panel, each and every option is available inside it. This also has some different kind of audio customization called as mono and stereo audio. Moving further, you have each and every option in the quick settings panel. You can drag any of the options you want and enable and disable it as per your choice. Overall the performance is pretty good and stable and it was actually unexpected that after doing such a long comeback, the ROM will come with such a good performance. Moving further under the home settings inside the launcher, it got some generic home settings such as include app icons on new installation and all other basic stuff. Selecting wallpaper from the device folder or the default one and all the basic stuff you get in other ROMs. Now let's move toward the main features of this ROM which are customizations. Resurrection Remix was pretty known for its dope customizations. The ROM has gained its fame for its customizations as the ROM provides almost all types of customizations that are in depth itself. Again, even after coming so late, this ROM also included all type of basic to advanced customizations the way you want. You will get all type of basic customizations that you get in other ROMs including the resurrection customizations itself. Customizations such as battery bar customizations, panel customization system, animations and all other type of customizations all you need you just get bundled inside this ROM easily and without any issues. Talking further, none of the customization has been broken or any of the customization doesn't have any type of bugs or issues. Each and every type of customizations work pretty good and fine. Moving towards the animations, you will get different screen of animations such as CRT1, Fade In, Fade Out and Scale 1. Moving further, you can also select system animations such as opening and closing of activity which type of closing and opening of activity you want. For this the ROM was pretty famous when it was there in the market and again it got all the different types of animations you can select any of them and keep and enjoy the one you want. So each and every customization has been covered by this ROM. Also you can disable the transition animation in just one click some of the animation duration is kind somehow broken in this ROM. Moving further is the fingerprint 
animations and all the other customizations lock screen animations and lock screen charging information and all the customizations you need everything is included itself the community has done such an amazing work even after doing comeback so late so yeah it's pretty appreciable and also it's pretty amazing and impressive work lock screen ui where you can set all type of lock screen animations lock screen clock and all the font option unfortunately lock screen clock font doesn't works maybe they will fix in future updates if they are willing to release any new one going further is the weather where you can select and enable all the type of weather customizations which you want in the lock screen itself and at the last you will get this updater where you will get all the ot updates in just one panel itself because obviously it's an official build now let's talk about the gaming performance in this rom talk about the gaming performance then you will also get the gaming mode in this rom just like you get in all the generic gaming roms itself just long pressing the gaming mode option you will get all type of gaming mode options such as disabling enabling ringer dynamic mode and all of the option itself talk about the gaming performance then gaming performance is pretty good in this rom i had played about 5 to 6 gameplays of pubg and i didn't find any major type of lag but yes for sure i found some minor lags itself like some of the issues with response time and delay and also in terms of latency so yes such types of minor issues are expected because at from their side this is actually a first build but i hope this gets fixed in the next build now let's talk about the banking apps and cts bypass by default cts gets bypassed in this rom but i don't know why when i installed the cts safety net check application it shows that it got failed itself but don't worry guys safety net check gets by default bypassed in this rom out of the box itself just open any type of payment applications like google pay or paytm and you will get your banking applications working perfectly fine as you can see that for me paytm and google pay has worked super great and super fine so don't fall for the application that it doesn't detect safety net check but yes out of the box you will get safety net check bypass and you will get all the banking applications working pretty fine and stable now let's talk about the battery performance and battery life in this rom talking about the battery life and battery performance in this rom then the battery life in this rom has last for me about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time on normal usage it may also last you about 7 to 8 hours if you ask my usage i played about 5 to 6 times of pubg a day including all the normal uses such as social media apps including instagram facebook whatsapp etc so for me it work for me about 6 to 7 hours but again it depends on person to person that how much you use your phone and how many times you play games on it or use a normal usage so let's talk about the final words or the conclusion so as per my opinion i use this rom for more than one week and it didn't face any type of major issue or lags in this rom the rom was work pretty fine for me and in terms of gaming and all the other customization the rom was just perfect surprisingly even after doing comeback after so many days the rom was just phenomenal also it was justified that the rom has got some minor issues such as some clock font customizations and also some time of latency delay and response time delay in the gaming performance but excluding that the entire rom work pretty fine and stable all the animations all type of opening and closing of application including performance battery life was everything was perfectly balanced in this rom all the other customization and new feature such as song card as you can see on increasing or decreasing the volume this type of song card you can see where you can when you play the song you can able to see this some of these features were pretty good i hope some of the new features for this in the future build itself so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content until then peace out see you in the next one